To print in Revit, first go to the File button at the top of the window. Choose File, Print. In the Print window, um, at the top is a pull-down menu where you can choose the printer you want to use. Uh, if you click the Properties tab, this will let you set up uh, the options for the printer itself, its page size, um, its rotation, and copies. Um, click OK. Next would be the Options category where you can um, change how many copies of the print you want to make. In Settings, under the Options, if you click Setup, you can start to um, put in the options for its paper size. Uh, in this case, if I go with a 12 by 18 paper size, um, the project is set up for a 24 by 36. Uh, if I go down to Zoom, I can set its zoom either to fit to page or in this case, since it's a half size, I'll change the zoom uh, to 50%. Um, you can choose it to center uh, to the middle of the page with paper placement above the zoom. The options category in the bottom um, allows you to make certain annotations visible or not. It's reference planes. Um, hide unfer unreferenced view tags is pretty handy um, if you check that. It will hide any section tags you have drawn but have not yet placed um, onto sheets. And finally, in settings, um, you know, under colors is where you can choose its grayscale. And in raster quality, um, its resolution. Revit gives you the ability to save these settings, um, which is pretty handy if you're going to always print uh, your half sizes on a particular printer or have certain options set up, um, you can choose the Save As button. And for, for this, for example, I'll go ahead and just choose 12 by 18 um, and click OK. And this way, um, anytime I want to print a 12 by 18 uh, image from this project, um, I can just choose the 12 by 18 settings and it should be automatically ready to go. Once I hit OK, um, and I see that the settings are set to the 12 by 18 setup. Um, I can go to its print range. Uh, this gives me three different options. Uh, current window um, does that. It prints uh, what window you're currently in. Um, if I just want a portion of that, uh, the second option is visible portion of the current window. Finally, um, you can actually do a batch print by choosing the third option, which allows you to s select the sheets or views uh, that you want to print with those settings. So if I click on the third option for selected views and sheets, then click the select button, it brings me up a window where I can actually choose um, the sheets that I want to print um, all at the same time. Uh, one tip is in the bottom of the window, if I uncheck views, uh, it narrows down the list uh, pretty quickly for me to just the sheets that I have set up for the project. Uh, if I choose the ones I want, and click OK. Um, Revit again asks me if I want to save these settings um, for future use. Uh, I usually uh, don't save um, the settings uh, f for that case. Once you have all the options set up for how you want, click OK and it should print for you.